I spoke at a in a literal barn last year. So for all the speakers listening, you're never too you're never too big time. You're never on a big enough stage to go speak at a barn. You know, it kind of humbles you a little bit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that kind of leads me into the next question. Tell us about yourself. How'd you get into speaking? What's your background? Yeah, I went to University of Missouri, played football. And when I was on the football team as a senior, John Gordon um, came and spoke to the team. I didn't even know speaking was a profession. I just thought people, you know, that were successful volunteered their time, right? And so I um, went up to John Gordon afterwards and pretty much just told him, I want to do what you're doing when I grow up someday. I said, like, can I learn from you? And he, he said, um, he said, are you willing to work for free? And I said, Absolutely. And so literally that was about eight years ago. And so I think it was that moment that I realized like I enjoy this type of thing. And so then after I graduated, got into corporate America, did sales for five years. And then like many of the speakers listening, I started speaking on the side and I started doing it as a side hustle. I had my day job and then I'd go do a free speaking engagement. I'd leave my cubicle and come back. And, and so then it got to the point where I was doing five gigs a year, 12, 15 gigs a year, 20, 30, and finally got to a point where I just could no longer be one in, you know, one foot in at corporate America and one foot in speaking. I feel like it wasn't serving each other. It wasn't, it was just too hard when I left corporate America. And yeah, and honestly, like podcasts like yours was such an encouragement to hear people like Grant who have done it or Eric Ream or yourself who are, who are going for it. And I can just say with full confidence, like the last few years has been such a blessing to see that like when you go for it, when you truly say, I'm going to dive into what I'm passionate about and I'm going to go all in. It's crazy to see the opportunities that come your way. And it's, uh, it's not perfect. It's not like it's all easy once you make that jump, but it is unbelievable. And I know you can speak to that as well. 